Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can add an external email address to your Outlook. You know what? It took me three hours to figure this out. I know this is super simple, um, you know, things to configure, but I'm just stupid and, and I didn't able to figure out right away. So anyway, so to add an external email address to your Outlook, you just need to click on this gear icon and click on the view all Outlook settings at the bottom part and then go into the mail and go to the sync email. Now sync email has a two sections. What is for the email aliases and the second one is a pop and imop. Now the difference between this is um, email aliases is more on if you want to import another email address to the Outlook. While pop and imop is more on if you want to export that Outlook email address to other email provider like maybe on Gmail. Okay, and in my case, I want to import my other email addresses to the Outlook. So um, to go forward, you just need to click on the manage or choose a primary alias. So you click on that. Okay. And then you see in here, I already added two email aliases. And yeah, to add more, and this one is more of you with what would be your preferred email address if you want to sign in into your um, Microsoft that's also possible so like okay so I'm going to add another email address in here you have two options whether you want to add a specific Outlook extension otherwise you need to choose the second option which is an existing email address as in a Microsoft account alias so um, on my hostinger I have a lot of like email address in here that I want to import. Um, so go in, I go into the email accounts and regardless if you use hosting or other email clients, you just really need to put in the email addresses in here. So let's say I'm going to add um, this one. Let's start with this one. So you click on that and then click on add alias. And then we'll ask you to verify it. So you click on verify, send email, and then you need to log in to your invoice, to my invoice um, email address. So I need to sign this out first. Click on that. And then click on login. And then confirm. And once that verify is gone, it means your account is already verified. Now, after you verify or you add your email address as your alias, we can then um, go forward to adding a folder and creating a rule. So I'm going to go back to my office mail and then, oops, not that one. And then I need to add a folder on it. So we'll add a folder. You click on the folder menu and you click on this one, create folder, and that is invoice folder. And then I want to add that. You can add it as a favorite if it's too important for you, but invoice is not too important for me. Um, I prefer all my personal email addresses in here. So invoice is fine. Just put it in there. And then I need to create a label for that. So um, you click on here, click any of your email address, and then click on the categories and click on manage categories. Since we have enough space for the category, I'm going to put them in here called invoice at ed.com and click on save. Now, once you've already created a folder and a category, it's now time to add a forwarder. Now, our original email address is this one. So I'm going to go back here. Um, then we'll copy that email address. 
go to my email client and look for the forwarders. So basically, we are forwarding all the email addresses into the Outlook. So click on create. Take total control. So look for the invoice. And then I'm going to put in my um, Outlook email address. And then Okay, so let's refresh it. I just really hate of not having a, because they have a actually an email client that is free, but since this account is already old, I cannot get that free thing. And yeah, I, I take the five years hosting. That's why I can't even, move forward to their upgraded version so anyway so let me log in again to hosting there i really don't need the other okay so i already have this email in here so i just need to verify that um to to make our forwarding working um what happened to milk singer Anyway, so log in and let's go to the forwarders. It's already active, so it means all invo all email address that is sent over to the invoice at should be forwarded to the Outlook. Okay, now once we've already done that, we can then start creating a rule. So I'm gonna click on click on the rules and manage rules. So rules and then manage rules and then go into the rules and click on add new rule and email to invoice add i just need to yeah um and then it just, it's, this is just uh, like an acronym because my domain is too long so i want to move over Let's start first with moving over. So if the email address is invoice at beforehand.com, which is that's the real email address, I want it to move over to the folder that I just created called invoice. And then I want to add another action, which is adding a category under invoice app. Run this rule, saved and I should be good to go. Now I'm gonna make a test in here on my email address. Click on that, click on invoice at the firm.com. This thing now, that's it. Please respond back. And I'm gonna click send, go into my Outlook. Let's see. expecting this would work so if i go into my invoice it's already in here and you see that it's already flog um flag as an invoice at bookworm head category now if you don't want it to move over to a specific folder it's also fine just remove the rules under here um here um, you can have something like just remove that and flog it into specific category. That's also fine. So you can just manually move it over to a specific folder if you want to. So yeah, hope that helps. And if you have any question, let me know. Comment down below. I'll try my best to answer it. And if you need any assistance, um, you can use my form and I'll try my best to get back to you. Thank you and have a great day.